Diamond Expert channel and today we are talking about light. What a light is, what color is it and why we separate colors. Here are questions for this video. So, what a light is? You probably used to think that light is white. Sure, we see sunlight in the yard and there is no doubt that it looks so. But the point is it only seems to be white. Well, to answer our question we should first disclose the nature of light. The epoch of light experimental research started absolutely unexpected and unplanned for one very talented scientist. Once, in early 1666, by upgrading a telescope, Isaac Newton noticed strange color streaks on the sides of his telescope lenses. Something like this. He was extremely surprised and at the same time excited with it. After years of thinking and investigating his new idea about light, in 1672 he decided to make his own experiment. He took a prism, separated light into colors and claimed for the whole world that light is not indivisible but consists of many colors. This phenomenon of light decomposition is called dispersion. In a minute we will try to reproduce the same experiment as Newton did, but please be patient. But before we do it, I will explain you what is light from the perspective of modern physics. According to it, light is an electromagnetic wave which propagates in space. Being a wave doesn't matter that it is electromagnetic, it holds usual characteristics of waves, such as amplitude, wavelengths and so on. Now we are interested in wavelengths. For those who forgot, I will remind that wavelength is a distance between two maximums of a wave. Ok, but the main point is that basically white light doesn't hold a specific wavelength. It's a mixture of all possible wavelengths which we can imagine. And actually the main achievement of Newton is that he came up with the idea how to separate and see all those constituents. Look, here is a picture of all constituents which is called a spectrum. By the way, the word spectrum comes from Latin word ghost, which approves that this phenomenon was totally unexplored and a little bit scary at that time. Now let's finally make our own experiment with prism and convince ourselves that light is indeed composite. You can see violet, blue, green, yellow, orange and red colors from here, so it really works. The dispersion or decomposition of light into colors occurs because index of refraction m strongly depends on the wavelengths. Index of refraction is a special characteristic of medium, which shows us how strongly light refracts with regard to its initial direction. Physically, it simply means that speed of light in medium will be n times smaller or greater than in the air. In our case, light comes from air to glass, where index of refraction is bigger. In glass, every wavelength refracts differently, and therefore we can see all of them separately. The difference of refraction occurs because of difference in wavelengths. For instance, you see that for red color, the wavelength is the biggest, therefore it has the highest velocity in medium. On the contrary, violet color has the shortest wavelength, and therefore the smallest velocity in medium. So according to our formula, the refraction index for the red color will be the smallest, and for violet, the biggest. It means that violet color will be refracted more strongly than red color. You see that change of refraction index works as some separator and helps us to see pure constituents from the disordered mixture of wavelengths. In fact, prism decomposes light into the whole spectrum. Another point is that human eyes can recognize only the range from violet to red color. This part we call as visible light, an imaginary divided into smooth set of colors. But this division is very conventional. For example, you can choose which color seems more red for you from the red range of spectrum and look how it corresponds to specific wavelengths. Now you can take a look into our world from different perspective. Just think about it for a moment. A color, as well as anything you can see around, is nothing but an electrical impulse which enters our eyes. In other words, it's a wavelength. If it's the case, we can easily be fooled. Somebody could create a cartoon world for us and we blindly believe in it. The situation is the same as in virtual reality, but it's another story. Now you know that light is a mixture of wavelengths. 
So after all that information, what is a color of light? Sure, light is every color at once. Now thanks for watching, subscribe to our channel and see you in the next videos. Bye-bye!